Wendy woke up when she heard the door to her dresser slam shut. She opened her eyes and saw a funny little boy sitting on the floor of her bedroom. A fairy sat on his shoulder. I lost my shadow, the boy said. He held up his shadow and a bar of soap. Can you help me? It won't stay on. Wendy hopped out of bed. Well, you can't stick it on with that. Soap is slippery. She got glue from her desk and gave it to the little boy. He spread some glue on his shadow and then stuck it to his body. Perfect. Thanks. My name is Peter Pan, he said. And this is my fairy, Tinkerbell. Wendy introduced herself, too. You know, Wendy, we could use someone like you back where I live, Peter said. You should come with me to Neverland. Neverland? I have never heard of a place called Neverland, Wendy said. How do we get there? Like this, Peter said. He sprinkled her with fairy dust. Wendy rose into the air. Peter pulled her out the window and over the city. Wendy, Peter, and Tinkerbell flew across London, then over the rest of England. Finally, the ocean was the only thing below them. A small speck on the water grew into an island. Neverland! Peter cheered. They soared towards it. Wendy heard yelling in the forest. Peter flew right at it. A group of boys was fighting with a gang of burly pirates. My friends are battling Captain Hook and his crew, Peter said. Peter drew his sword and flew into the fight. They heard a tick-tock sound. It grew louder and louder. A big crocodile emerged from the water. The pirates turned and ran. This isn't over, Peter Pan! Captain Hook cried as he ran off with his crew. Peter and his friends had won. With the pirates defeated, Peter and the lost boys took Wendy to their home. The crocodile ate Hook's hand in a fight, Peter explained to Wendy as they walked. Now the croc wants to eat the rest of him. Hook fed it a clock so he can hear the beast coming. Do you fight pirates often? Wendy asked. Of course, Peter said. The pirates are always on our trail. We scuffle at least once a day. If not for Peter, said one lost boy, the pirates would have made us walk the plank a long, long time ago. The other boys cheered and wrestled with each other as they entered their underground cave. Inside, there was one big bed. Peter had a stump for a chair where he kept his favorite cup. Peter sat on the stump. Tinkerbell rested in her bed among the roots on the roof of the cave. After a long day of fighting pirates, Wendy kissed the boys' wounds. She gave them medicine and tucked them into bed. You should be our mother, one of the boys said. Wendy agreed to stay in Neverland. It was a good idea, too because Peter and his friends were always getting into trouble. Peter and the Lost Boys took Wendy to meet the mermaids. In the lagoon, the mermaids batted bubbles with their tails. The boys ran to catch the bubbles and toss them around. With Tinkerbell's fairy dust, Wendy and Peter flew around Neverland all day. And each night, Wendy would tell the boys stories. She would kiss their wounds and tuck them into bed. The boys and Peter had grown to love Wendy like a real mother. For a long time, Wendy had fun pretending to be their mother, but she started to miss having a mother of her own. I want to go home, she told Tinkerbell one day. Wendy told the boys they could all come with her to London. The boys loved the idea but not Peter Pan. He did not want to leave Neverland. I'm fine alone, Peter said. He sat on his stump throne, drinking from his favorite cup. He didn't want them to know, but he was sad that his friends were leaving.
each boy said goodbye. Then they climbed out of the underground house. They did not know that Captain Hook and his crew were waiting for them. Without Peter, the boys didn't stand a chance. The pirates tied up Wendy and the boys and took them to the ship. Hook stayed behind. Hook planned to take care of Peter Pan once and for all. He snuck into the underground house where Peter was asleep. Tinkerbell hid in her small bed. She watched as Hook poured poison into Peter's favorite cup. The door banged shut as Hook left. It woke up Peter. Peter reached for a drink of water. Before he could take a sip, Tinkerbell flew down. She knocked the cup from Peter's hands. She told Peter how Hook and his pirates had captured the boys. We have to save them, Peter said. Peter was not sure how he would beat Captain Hook and the pirates on his own, but he knew he had to try.